never really see myself with a disability. There are things that I can and can't do, but it's everyday life for me. I did worry that people would want to clap me along and, and give me a pat on the back just because I'm out there running, but I'm actually doing more than that. We're training seven days a week. My stump is just as important for running than my left leg because I wouldn't be able to run without that. Kelly obviously achieved some great results in London, but um, had a few injuries and setbacks along the way. She's still got some ankle problems, which is a long-term concern, I guess, given it's her only ankle. Injury 100% comes along with every kind of training, every kind of sport. Keep your hips high. Keep your shoulders square with the wall. My major problem is my ankle. In the long run, it's probably not a great injury to have being an amputee and a runner. Managing it is going to be one of the most important things that I do so I can walk when I'm 40, 50, 60. Sometimes I get frustrated with how my body's going, how it's compensating, but you know when it's not at its top shape and you also know when it is. It's tough trying to consistently keep going when you've got things that are niggling at you all the time. You've really got to stay focused and put 100% confidence in every time you step out on the track.